Many thanks for joining us on today's edition of Joy Asoye Live. As usual, we'll be discussing very important national issues. Today, our spotlight would be on the entertainment industry. The Nigerian in entertainment industry has the potential to become the major contributor to the nation's economy, creating job opportunities for millions of Nigerians and improving the country's image on the global stage. However, this requires significant investment, both from government and the private sector. Uh, this this uh, government contribution uh, should collaborate with several industries stakeholders to promote Nigeria's rich cultural heritage and talent to the rest of the world. However, how are we when it gets to government uh, efforts in promoting all of this? How about private sector? What does it pertain for this industry that promises to be so much more? That's what we'll be discussing. And in the studio to discuss all of this uh, is Chief Charles Ndudim, an entertainment mogul, media consultant, and the vice president, Entertainment Summit Africa. Thank you so much for being part of the program. Thank you again. Thank you very much for having me. And all the way from Bucharest is... Um, uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Kofi Anthony Okenini. Mr. Kofi is reaching us from Bucharest via Skype. Hello there. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, my dear. Yes, it's wonderful. Mr. Kofi is a Nigerian Hollywood actor. You must have seen his face in uh, some Hollywood movies, but we'll get into all of that as we go for a short break now to return to discuss more. Promises to be very interesting. Uh, marrying the what's going on across Nigeria and what's here and how we can all bring it together for that potential boost. We'll be right back after this short break. Welcome back from that. Like I said earlier, in the studio with me is um, Chief Charles Ndudim. He's a regular, really. Can I can I call you a regular? Well, I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> I call him Comrade, but he's Chief. Uh, he's also the Vice President, Entertainment Summit Africa. And we also have, like I said earlier, Kofi Anthony Okenini. He's reaching us all the way from Bucharest. Now, let, let's just go straight to Chief Let's talk about where the entertainment industry is right now. It seems like we have young people who are, have so much talent without government um, effort or contribution. Um, uh, firstly, you, you, entertainment is, a, is a, it's something that um, they call it the mirror image of every economy. But it takes a certain type of uh, leadership to understand and and begin to create um, the the leveling field, um, begin to create uh, conditions of development. Kids often take on to entertainment on their own. Uh, I remember growing up, we used to have uh, corn mics. Uh, you know, we fabricate anything, use the empty drums of paint to hit the drums. Mm -hmm. Um, that is where we hone our talent uh, go coming forward and then it begins to mature. A lot of people that are videographers today started with a camera filming something, taking camera shots. Nobody, most of these guys didn't even go to proper school for this stuff and they grew along with it. It's called passion. But with every passion needs direction. So I guess to your question, um, uh, there, there must be deliberate action, um, which has successively started from uh, from good luck. Uh, Jonathan's government in Nigeria, I remember, he made uh, provision for some funding for the entertainment industry. However, um, it was a very difficult task for these people to go and access that money. 
But we have come to a point now in this new administration of President Tinubu that a Ministry of Arts, Creative Arts has been birthed, uh, has been created, sorry. And, um, you know, it's what we do with that uh, that it's, uh, it, it, you know, w w remains to be seen. Okay, uh, I would like to hear. The journey started. Yeah, that's a good one. But let's, let's hear from uh, Ms. Uh, Mr. Kofi, reaching us all the way from Romania. Right, so if you, from where you are, I mean, you're practicing out of Nigeria, but when you look over here, the entertainment industry, looking at, the, at our music and our mu movies, where do you think we are and where do you honestly think we can get to? Should there be intentional effort? Thank you again uh, for having me here today. Uh, holistically, Looking at how far Nigeria have come in the entertainment industry, I would I would say they've really done well for themselves. Uh, back in the days, we used to know about Bollywood, which is, I guess, India. They like uh, stood behind the Hollywood. Today, uh, the word Bollywood is more silent. You could see Nollywood sitting on top after Hollywood. So precisely, I, I, I see Nigeria like the only competition they, they, they are looking at for is the American entertainment industry and no other country can come close to that. So asking me, yeah, do I think they're going to be or if there's anything that's going to like come in to make them better? They're on the right path. Um, at the moment, I'm working on, I'm working on something, like more or less like a collaboration with the Hollywood and the Nollywood, working more closely together to make the industry stand out the way it should stand out. Okay, talks are ongoing. I just came in from Atlanta. We have had a series of meetings with some great actors in the Hollywood. Uh, they've all declared interest to come do stuff in Nigeria, which I'm also working on bringing the actors, the Hollywood actors to Nigeria, so that we can be able to see how we can promote our industry back home and uh, project actually the true po uh, potentials that the country has for the world and at large. Okay. So, uh, the government so far, I believe the government is also putting policies in place that should be able to uh, make the industry work right. So now, what would you say your biggest culture shock was? I mean, industry-wise, when you went uh, left the shores of Nigeria to go be an actor abroad, what was the first thing that hit you in the face? You're coming from an industry that produces maybe five movies a week, maybe more, as I, as I heard. And uh, here is a more detailed Hollywood. What's that shock you got? To be honest, I uh, when I when I walked into this industry here in Europe, I actually started this movie thing in Europe. I didn't see it coming. I it, it wasn't it wasn't something I I I I ever planned that I was going to end up doing in my life. You know. But uh, when I walked into it, what I saw as a shock was that uh, it's so time consuming if there's a project ongoing and uh, uh, it brings uh, it brings you to uh, to a certain stage of challenge that you must really have to bring out the best in you to be able to meet up to what is expected of you. And also to assure yourself that you're on the right path and doing the right thing, you know. So uh, I've, I've been to the Hollywood and I've also seen what the industry is like. Comparing uh, where we're coming from, from Nigeria, and where Hollywood is, I get, I get it's all about time. And there will be more challenges as people project that it might be. 
Right. Let, let's get back to Chief Ndudim. I mean, for him, th it wasn't so much of a culture shock. Uh, it's just that, according to him, we're on the right path. Yes. But for that details we put into our movies, is it necessarily something to celebrate when you talk about how easily and often we churn out movies? Is it is it because we have the prowess, the talent? Uh, first and foremost, uh, you need to understand that we have so much energy in the country, so much youthful energy in, in, in Nigeria. And if we don't begin to channel this energy in the right direction, um, we'll be hearing of uh, kidnappings or whatever in every street of the country. Let me give you an instance. In Nigeria today, let's say you have about the minimum of 30 movie sets happening as we speak right now. In every movie set, you have the uh, um, uh, runner, you have the videographer, you have the sound guy, you have the camera guy, you have the fashion, the the the, the, the Costumiers makeup. Costumiers and everything. Yeah, everything, a long in chain of... Uh, a long chain. Mm -hmm. You probably have about 25 to 30 people on that movie set so you calculate that and see within lagos alone calabar uh, uh, uh so, so many places enugu in the delta, east don't delta, forget delta asaba, <laughs> asaba you know? movies exactly so so you have all of that going on all across this nation commercials are being shot radio stations all over the place so if we actually took a detailed um, and our accurate uh, 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 measure of employ uh, of 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 the industry that is employing the most youth in Nigeria, I bet you, you will see that the entertainment industry is at the top, because um, there is so much activity going on. It is getting our youth uh, 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 very active in the employment space. So. If, if there is anything this government needs to do is to really make a deliberate effort and put in their money where their mouth is. Okay, so Mr. Okenini, what would you say our reputation is when it comes to international recognition and um, appreciation of our art? Because you are bringing people down here to come collaborate in the movie industry. That is huge. But internationally, where are we in, in terms of appreciation? Let's get the facts right. The movie entertainment industry in Nigeria has produced jobs possibly uh, for millions of uh, uh, Nigerians. You know, uh, it has increased the GDP, you know, and uh, generated revenue from exports and uh, helped the, uh, help the uh, tourism industry. Uh, today, uh, I get the image Nigeria has truly gained today, the new image that Nigeria has truly gained today. It's coming from the industry of the entertainment, and uh, you can you can see the likes of uh, the top music the, uh, music guys we got today: David O, Bonner Boy, Whiskey, and all that. You know, they're giving Nigeria a new face. You know what I mean? And uh, look at Netflix today. Netflix, I mean, Nigerian movies are like you know all all over Netflix too. You know. So uh, w what I'm trying to say is uh, we are getting there, like I said, and it's because of from what the international communities have seen, let's, let me talk specifically for the U.S., mm. for Hollywood, just because of what they've seen, I guess that's why they're indicating interest to come work with us back home in Nigeria. So uh, basically, we're having a headway. And uh, like I said, it's just all about time. That's a good one. But what's your, are you also as optimistic? I mean, sometimes we hear, see headlines 
I call it irresponsible reporting that makes Nigeria look like some war zone and it has really affected investors. But are you as optimistic as he is? Well, the uh, first part of healing is to call what it is what it is. Uh, Nigeria, in terms of, uh, we know what the challenges are. We have, we've, we've had security challenges for a little bit, um, which has uh, kind of affected the economy and the output of everything, oil, all of that stuff. That is why a new channel, a deliberate investment must be made towards this youthful direction. Your youth is in the entertainment industry. The entertainment industry is the mirror image of every economy. California, as you know it, is the fifth largest economy in the world as a state in the U.S. Why? Because of Hollywood the presence of Hollywood. Now, our skits online, we are commanding the content online, globally. Nigeria is commanding content online, globally. So if we have all of this energy, why don't you make a deliberate effort in all communities, 774 local governments, put in, let's have schools you know like you have uh, african uh, development uh, academy movie development academy all over south africa we can do the same thing here mm -hmm. we can bring in schools in our four, uh, the, the 774 local governments to train people so that what you have in the industry are quality really baked people coming out sound engineers uh, videographers whatever you call them in the industry that has to make this work when that happens then you have taken the youth out of the street they now become tax paying members of the economy and you have dealt with unemployment they're already doing it for themselves you did ask uh, 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 mr kofi who is uh, celebrated across the world today you did ask him uh, 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 what you know the, uh, the image uh, Nigeria is having overseas for God's sake look at what is happening David Do commanded the entire United States the whole of last year with his timeless tour no other artist in fact in some places he sold out before Bonaboy sold out in Europe before Beyonce so that her own ticket, the almighty Beyonce. What are we saying? Our music is being vultured by the world. Mm. Our skits are being vultured by the world. But who is making the money? It's Netflix. Who is Netflix? Is it Nigerian? Is it homegrown? Who is taking the musical rights? You have the likes of, uh, 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 what do you call them, where... Um, um, uh, Apple Music, right. all of those uh, streaming, uh, streaming services, services mm -hmm. online. Which one is homegrown? Has the government made a deliberate effort to support? If you go to the US, you will see that Apple gets support. All of them get support locally. That is why they are able to compete globally. Now, how do you fight Apple? If, if, if I stream for a Bonner boy in Nigeria, would he be able to get his uh, remuneration right from me? Do I have the, the capacity to be, to be, you know, the technological, uh, uh, all the technology that is needed to build the infrastructure to compete with these people? Uh, can I go at it alone? That is why we started the Entertainment Economic Summit that will have all stakeholders present problems to government let us interface with government because sometimes we have to change the microcosm uh some of the leaders carry so that they can actually understand because when you tell them about entertainment they think is uh you know sit down during weddings invite flavor to come and <laughs> perform or what but they forget as flavor is moving his costume the 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 
is moving with him. The makeup person is moving. The road manager is moving with him. Mm -hmm. You know, the band members, the guitarists are moving. So as you pay flavor, 20 million, 30 million, a lot of other people are making money from that payment alone. Exactly. That is Super. the entertainment economy mm -hmm. that this government must be deliberate enough to invest in our youth and invest in the stakeholders. That's a very interesting one. But uh, Mr. Kofi, what would you say about this technology that we do not have here? And you're inviting foreigners to come invest in the entertainment industry here in the <coughs> country. While that is very applaudable, the government should in fact uh, collaborate with you. I would ask, are you concerned that with this technology uh, lacuna that we have, it would affect your movie productions and the quality of production that you want? Uh, about the technology, you're right. But uh, I and my team, or my colleagues, tend to come in with our own set of equipment that will give us a better production in Nigeria. And uh, uh, secondly, I, I'm believing in this new government that they should be able to do better than the past governments we've had in Nigeria in terms of uh, Set, setting up enabling environments for uh, for the industry, like uh, good movie villages, uh, like you come out, out in the west, you see amazing amazing structures, environments that that is required for good movies to be done on or movie shoot or music shoots and all that stuff. I want to believe that this government should be able to do uh, to do better. And uh, seeing what this industry has been able to bring into the economy and also the jobs it has also contributed to, to the society, I expect that. I expect that the government shouldn't, shouldn't hold back or look, look way wayside not to do what is right for the youth. I mean, if not the entertainment industry, uh, when I mean in the entertainment industry, I mean, all the sectors and entertainment. I mean, would you have you ever imagined and wondered what could have been the fate of the millions of youths that's been standing on around, both in skates, in comedy, in music, in movie, name it. So uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this government will do better, and uh, because I've been able to see, you know, there are different peaks in different, in different stages and. Uh, I have this feeling that things are going to change and mm. uh, for the equipment, I want to also believe that the whole team in the Nollywood or in the entertainment industry should also come on board. You know, if we, we need, we need, you see, this is not just a government thing alone, okay? Private sectors are also needed, okay? Uh, the international organization are also needed, okay? Trying to get the best. For the best for this country called Nigeria, it's something that everybody stands out to be on the table. Government, be it private sector, be it uh, inter the international communities and all that, including me, myself, that I'm contributing to my own quota, trying to see how best I can help work to make my industry better. I'm playing my own part. So you two, every other person should come on board and let's see the best we can do for our industry. It's for us. Exactly. No one else. Now, are you concerned that our culture is being eroded? Some of our movies are very Western. And yet, the Westerners or abroad uh, culture is appreciated. But back here, there's that need to be foreign. There's that need to dress like the American. There's that need to speak like one. So we're losing that Africanness that we enjoy. So is are you bringing back more American culture or you are here to really invest in our culture and heritage? The culture of a country is the beauty of that country. I'm not looking at bringing in a foreign culture to come dominate my own culture in the sector of the business of the movie business no we actually are looking at 
you know, showcasing what Africa got. We're trying to bring out the true picture that Africa is not, you know, the way Africa is painted in the, in the white man's land, we're trying to change all that narratives. You know, all these narratives have actually given Africa a bad image. Wherever they go, they think they're coming out from the zoo or from the forest or something. You know, we're trying to make this thing turn around. We're trying to make this whole thing change. Do you understand? And and so far, like I said before, if you check all the movies that have been done in the past and in the present, they've also been doing their best trying to, you know, get to where they are at the moment. You know, you see, I'm not going to hold down on anybody. This whole thing is a process. Okay? You know, it, it doesn't just happen. It's a process. They have to go through different stages to make, you know, to find their wrongs, where they make their wrongs, and to make it right, to get things right, where it has to be right and make it perfect, you know? So, uh, I, uh, I strongly believe that our culture, if you take it away, it won't be the same again. Mm. Yes. Well, uh, Chief Ndudi, uh, that question I would like to ask you too. But for the music industry that infuses our Yoruba, Yoruba and several other dialects, does it concern you that especially the movies are very Western and we are losing our culture and heritage? Well, I, 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 I beg to differ with that because uh, um, one of the really, uh, one of the one of the uh, reasons Nigerian movies are wholly accepted is it's, it's, it tells its own story. Uh, if you look at the Chinese people, you know, they kick box and everything that was unique to them. That's how Bruce Lee and the rest of them used to kill people. You come to America, they believe so much in the gone. That's how the actor kills his, you know, his opening. And that is a unique story about the movie. When you come to the Nigeria, we use juju to kill people. Mm. That's our own unique storyline with this movie. So I, 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 I actually think that they, they, they are carrying uh, an African story. It was Winston Churchill who said that uh, history was going to be kind to Britain because Britain was going to write it. He says, why would the history be kind to Britain? He said, because we are going to write it. Mm. So um, history has not been good for Africa because we Africans have countries. allowed other yeah. people to write their exactly. story. So now we have an opportunity to write our story. And as this movie industry continues to develop, I believe that uh, um, we will do things right. The quality is getting there. I mean, uh, just a few weeks ago, uh, we celebrated uh, a movie that hit about a billion naira in the box office in Nigeria, Funke Akindele's movie. That is a welcome development. That should be happening every week. We have the population to make it happen. How many movie theaters do you have across the country? What is the deliberate investment in making that happen mm. to the rural area, to the schools? The same way uh, uh, the digital devices, the GSMs and the Android phones and all of them have penetrated the rural area. What are we doing in that deliberate investment to make sure that the movies get to... So the numbers are there. The interest is there. In fact, the local economy alone is enough to support this industry and build it to the Hollywood standard. But investments must be made. I thank this government for recognizing and taking away uh, the, the creative arts industry out of Ministry of Culture and, uh, and Arts. That's what we've had. And so much, you know, there is not defined. For the first time, a ministry have been birthed. My question is, what is the action line of this ministry? What are they doing? Are they willing to be, to support what these kids have already said on the stage? Or do they want to reinvent the wheel? I, 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 we, we're still looking out for that. 
So Kenini, what would you say when you, he, he keeps talking about that investment, that support, that contribution from government, where would you advise this government to start with when you look at um, the Nigerian entertainment industry from where you are? Hollywood is quite established. Uh, I would expect I would expect the government to uh, I'm sorry about that <laughs> that's okay I would expect the government to uh, actually uh, concentrate more on uh, bringing in the private sectors and uh, the people that hold sway in the entertainment industry to find out all that is needed to have a full support in making the industry what it should be. I would expect the government to bring all stakeholders to the table so that they could actually find out from the roots what do they need to do, what has to be done to get the industry where it should be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. However, you know how diverse we are and it's interesting. The entertainment industry is so large, especially in Nigeria, and there are subsectors that feel like they have not been carried along. But when you look at tourism as a potential tool, it's like a low-hanging fruit that can collaborate with the entertainment industry. I don't know if to take tourism out of the entertainment subsector. However, have we delved in deep enough, you know, to, um, you know, put, uh, what's the word now, uh, show off or showcase rather what we've got in the country. I mean, a Google search would even give you spots that I have not been harnessed. But why are we not seeing it in our music videos in our movies it embarrasses me sometimes when i hear that lots of young people who want to shoot good music videos travel to south africa travel to kenya i saw one who was really hustling to go to rwanda and we have really beautiful uh, tourist sites right here in the country you're very right um you know we, we have to learn you 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 learn the tricks um in our bid to becoming um this uh entertainment uh haven um we have to actually go outside experience uh some of these things how things are being done how to choose uh sets how to choose uh the scenery or whatever terminology they use for that in the movie world you know, so it's not a problem to go out there and actually learn and be part and experience. But I can tell you for now that there is a lot of uh, change that has happened. Um, you know, there are so many activities going on ac all across these borders, all across Nigeria. So many activities in terms of movie sets, uh, skits, even the skits all over the town. You know, you find a comedian acting out one thing or the other some people with mics look at the viewership on those things some are 50 million 100 million i was here the other time to talk about a gospel artist in nigeria just the gospel in the gospel industry named sinach uh in just one of her songs she's over 300 million views the other ones are 50 million views and all of that stuff and we continue to contribute our craft to the international market system and that is where I have the problem. It's not about us going to learn from them, but I'm saying, how do we keep the money at home? Exactly. How do we keep the money at home? Instead of being on YouTube and having all these millions of views because YouTube are paying them whatever it is they're getting from them. Um, how do we keep that money? How do we build that infrastructure? And we have the talent to do it. We have, like you said, we have Mr. Kofi Okenini now, who is now an international actor, right there in Hollywood amongst his peers. So many people littered across the United States doing so well in different forms, even in the technology sector. 
Uh, so what does it take to muster that will and that energy and that assemble these bright heads together to come and build a platform that will cater to this industry here in the country? So really, um, when you ask the question about tourism being married to the entertainment industry, everything is married to the entertainment industry. Uh, when you watch adverts on the TV, you know, it's a type, there's a song. Before we got on air right now, a mm -hmm. song introduced us to the air. Before, in the entertainment is the mirror image of every economy. You must market whatever product, whatever service that you're offering with entertainment product. One way or the other, whether it's acting, whether it's music, whether it's some form of thing being played, whether it's a soundtrack, something must market your product or services. So we live and breathe this stuff every day. How is it so hard for us to pull ourselves together and structure this thing in a way? In America, you have what is called the ASCAP, Association of uh, uh, Producers, Association of Script Writers, mm -hmm. Actors, Producers alike. You have that. And what ASCAP stands for is that ASCAP takes care of, they trace, when your song is played in every radio station. Right. Uh, uh, to in, ensure in you the, get your... US, so that you get your royalties. royalties. That is why even dead musicians, their families can benefit. They'll receive checks in the mail because of that structure that exists. How do we begin to build that structure in mm. our own space? And that is why we say what uh, Mr. Kofi Okenini have said here is that government must interface with the real actors. You know, not trying to reinvent the wheel. Get the real actors, the stakeholders. There are people who have built the stuff and they have gained experience along the way. Mm. I, for one, have, I think I've paid my way in entertainment over 25, 26 years in the industry. It comes with experience. So you get the stakeholders in one room and interface with them and find out what it is. How did they get here? What is it you need to get to the other point? How do we get to where we all need to, to get to exactly. that will in turn benefit this economy? Because mm. if I'm receiving royalty, I'm paying my tax. It will be tax deductible before it even gets to you. So government is gaining from this stuff. Right now, with all the energy of this thing going on in this country, what is the government gaining? To be honest with you, we have billionaires right now. We have a Davido, a Whiskey, a Brown Bonner Boy. No matter what you say, they are overseas making money. They are homegrown. It's Nigeria that gave them that, that opportunity, platform. that You're platform. You're right about that. You know, they have 200 pe million people that is standing behind them. That's enough crowd. That's enough cheerleading crowd hmm. to make you a global superstar. It is. But let's go to Kofi Okeneni. Uh, you are planning something big. How soon are we going to expect this? Uh... Talks are ongoing at the moment. You know, it's a process, and uh, we're trying to make sure we have the right uh, the right team that's going to help uh, have this project or make this project a success. So, uh, I'm at the moment I'm I'm talking with some lead art talks back there at home with uh, Kanayo Kanayo. Uh, and some of the and some of the actors back there and some producers as well. Then in the US, I'm working with Ken Nile at the moment, Michael Jake White, Theodora Bagwell, T Back, and a whole lot of other Hollywood actors. So talks are ongoing, like I said. And I want to believe that uh, in the shortest possible time, we'll be making it more official on uh, on the trip that we're about in back to in Nigeria. Mm, I can't wait to have you back here. So what are your final thoughts uh, on this issue of Nigerian entertainment industry and the economic contributions? We are really running out of time. We are here. We have been here. Um, the kids are here. They are coming up every day. We are getting better at our craft uh, through music. You, it's it's, it's self-evident in the world. All these kids need is deliberate investment. And for those uh, private sector that have already gone in and uh, uh, taken a, 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 a risk to invest in these kids, 
the government need to come to their aid. It's time for that support system. A support system is needed, but it must first be directed properly. That is why we say at Entertainment Summit Africa is all geared to us bringing the stakeholders in the same room with government. Let there be a bill that is introduced in the National Assembly that protects the right copyrights, you know, right. to the fullest of it, not just, uh, you know, <coughs> real copyright laws drafted in this country that will be enforced to allow the guitarist, mm. you know, to get royalties, you know, that will allow the pianist to get royalties, not just the artists, not just the name brands, that will allow the families of Majek Fashek to continue to benefit, benefit from mm -hmm. his work that he did before. He did. Right. That is all we are asking government to do. And this government is taking the right step in the right direction, and we pray um, they do the right thing and just not service, uh, lip service to all of this. That has been Chief Charles Ndudim, Entertainment Mogu, Media Consultant, Vice President, Entertainment Summit Afri. Thank you so much for being part of the program. Thank you for having me always. Well, all the way from Bucharest, we also had uh, Mr. Kofi Antoni Okenini, Nigerian Hollywood actor. It was wonderful to have this conversation with you and more grease to your elbow. Thank you so much for having me and have a great day. This is where we draw the curtains on Joy Asoye Live. It has been very wonderful discussing the Nigerian entertainment industry. We'll be back tomorrow with so much more. Do have a restful evening.